प्रश्न व्याख्या अन्यार्थम आई हैव टू ओके दिस इज समबडी एल्स आल्सो जॉइन दिस सो अन्यार्थम तू जैमिनी ही प्रश्न व्याख्यानाभ्याम अपि च एवं एके 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 शाकिना सो व्हाट डू दे से अन्यार्थम सो जैमिनी अह जैमिनी आचार्य सेज दैट अन्यार्थम व्हाट वाज सेड हियर इज जीव मुख्य प्राणलिंगा दैट काइंड ऑफ अ क्लेम मेड बाय पूर्व पक्षी इवन दी पूर्व मीमांसक डज नॉट एग्री विद संख्यास सो दी मीनिंग इज दैट द प्रश्न व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड सो द प्रश्न व्याख्यान व्याख्यान इज उत्तर सो प्रश्न एंड व्याख्यान इफ यू लुक एट दैट प्रश्न व्याख्यानाभ्याम इस तृतीय द्विवचन और यू कैन से थ्रू और पंचम इज ऑल्सो ओके हेतु सो देर बाय व्हाट डू यू नो हेतव पंचमी और हेतव तृतीय हेतव पंचमी इज बेटर सो प्रश्न व्याख्यानाभ्याम किम न्यायते व्हाट इज नोन इज दैट अन्यार्थम एज पर जैमिनी आचार्य च एवम एके इन दी केस ऑफ दी अदर शाख शाखीनस वाजसने ये शाखा देर दे कंसिडर दैट एज पर दी प्रश्न एंड व्याख्यान ऑल्सो अन्यार्थम देर इज अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग टू डिफरेंट पर्पस अन्यार्थ इज डिफरेंट पर्पस टू दिस मंत्रा और दिस पर्टिक्युलर सेक्शन सो एज पर दैट वॉट विज्ञा दैट विज्ञान आत्मा द प्रज्ञा वर्ड प्राज्ञा वर्ड हैज बीन यूज अर्लियर और प्रज्ञात्मा द वर्ड प्रज्ञात्मा वाज यूज अर्लियर सो ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स टू विज्ञानमय आत्मा विज्ञान आत्मा मीनिंग विज्ञानमय कोश संबद्ध आत्मा व्हिच इज जीव आत्मा देयरफॉर जीव इज आल्सो द लिंग एज पर द पूर्व पक्षी बट द जैमिनी आचार्य से अन्यार्थम दैट वर्ड हैज अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग you can say anyartham a different purpose also anyartham is has a different meaning also what is that vijnana vijnana atma and paramatma if you look at it so jeeva paramarsha paramarsham anyartham if you look at it so we we'll look at the vritti it will be more clear because a long sutra anyartham is that it has a different meaning different purpose or a different meaning than what the sankhyas consider so what is that that anyartha that will be clear in the vritti further jaimini raacharya jaiminihi aacharya asmin prakarane in this very prakarana that the purva pakshi is raising a doubt about jeeva paramarsham anyartham brahma pratipatyartham manyate and that is quoted as a hetu by the 
Siddhanti Uttar Mimamsaka. He says that even the Purva Mimamsakas who have done Mimamsa very well, from whom we learn, we learn the Mimamsa Shastra from the Purva Mimamsakas. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. So you Sankhya's claiming that this is Jiva and then there is a difference also. What is the difference? The difference is claimed as there is a difference between this Jivatma and Paramatma. So the difference is real says the Puro Pakshi. So what was said is that Jiva uh, Mukhya Prana Linga, the Jiva Linga is there, Jiva is Upasya or Mukhya Prana is Upasya. This Jiva is different from Mukhya Prana and then if the Siddhanti claims that there is uh, Paramatma who is Upasya, Siddhanti is not saying that Paramatma is Upasya. Siddhanti is saying that Paramatma is Nyaya as what Jiva. However, Puro Pakshi says that if Paramatma is there in as the meaning of that section of Aditya or Prana also, even then that Paramatma is Upasya. Therefore, the refutation which has gone back earlier was na. Why? Upasa Traividhya. That was the Hetu given. One of the Hetu given was Upasa Traividhya. There will be Vakya Bheda. The same Vakya cannot be talking about three Upasyas. Upasya, Devatas or Jiva, Prana and Paramatma. Now this Paramatma, as Upasya, as per the Puro Pakshi, is different from Jiva. So, this Kincha is showing that this Jiva who is taught as different from Paramatma or the Puro Pakshi thinks that that Jiva is taught as different from Paramatma, there Jaimini Acharya says it is not so. Why is it not so? He says that Anyartham, it has a different meaning, it has a different purpose. What is that? This Jiva Paramarsha, Jiva Paramarsham Anyartham. The Jiva which is discussed there as Vijnana Atma in another uh, Shakha, another Shakha or the same Shakha, another section, another Upanishad section also you see this Jiva who is discussed is not for the purpose of Jiva but to teach as to teach Paramatma. So the focus should be shifted from the Jiva who you think is Bhinna, alright, but then the focus is not on Jiva as Upasya. But Paramatma, the teaching is of Paramatma. This is, is even what Jaimini Acharya considers. So Jaimini Acharya, Asmin Prakarne, Jiva Paramarsham Anyartham. Kim tad Anyartha. So Anyartham is what? Uh, the Vakya, let's say, Jiva Paramarsham is Anyapada. Anyartham is what? Anyaha Arthaha Prayojanaha Va Yasya. Yasya Jiva Paramarshasya Tat Jiva Paramarsham Anyartham Anyartham is Bahuri to Jiva Paramarsham being Anyapada. And what is that Anyartham? Which is that Anya Anyartha Anya Prayojana? Brahma Prati Pratipati. Therefore, Brahma Pati Pratipati Artham. Brahma Pratipati Artham is Anyartham. What is that? Jiva Paramarsha. So the inquiry into Jiva, the analysis of Jiva is to understand Brahma. This is the Puro Mimamsaka saying. Although he says, okay, Arthavada Ityadi is later, but he also says this Brahma is discussed as separate from Jiva and Jiva should not be the focus. Brahma should be the focus. Therefore, Brahma Pratipatyartham Yataha Manyate Ataha Brahma Parameva Idam Vakyam. So, what is the Tatpare Vishaya in this Vakya, which will be quoted next? So that Vakya, the purpose is not to understand the Jiva, but to understand Paramatma. Then the Siddhanti will go ahead and say, okay, this Paramatma is no different from Jiva. Jiva is not separate from Paramatma. But that is later. However, the Vakya itself is not Jiva Para or any Paratva that you see, it is Brahma Para. So even by the Mimamsa of the Karmakandi, that Vakya is committed to revealing Brahma and therefore Brahma is the Tatpare Vishya and therefore what the uh, Samanvaya Siddhi takes place. This is the uh, opinion of the Sutra and opinion of the Vritti also here. So Brahma Parameva Idam Vakya means what? It is uh, proving, establishing the Samanvaya.
समन्वय ऑफ ऑल वेदांत वाक्यास इन ब्रह्म कुतः मन्यते कुतः जैमिनी आचार्य तथा कुतः मन्यते प्रश्न वाख्यान अभ्याम बिकॉज देर इज अ प्रश्न एंड अ व्याख्यान उत्तरा विच फॉलोस व्हाट इज दैट सेक्शन वेर एंड व्हाट इज द प्रश्न वैश एत बाला के पुरुषो पुरुषो शाइष्ट क्व वा एत अभूत सो द क्वेश्चन कम्स अप एस टू क्व एष सो क्व एष हे बाला के दी दी बाला के संबोधन दी दी राजा अजात शत्रु से क्वेश एक बाला के हे बाला के क्वेश क्वेशुक्ति सप्तमी अर्थ वेर वेर डिड ही गो ड्यूरिंग दि सुषुप्ति अवस्था एंड देन क्व एष एक बाला के पुरुष अशाइष्ट क्व वा एक अभूत ऑल्सो सो मीन मीनिंग वॉट वेर वॉज ही क्व अशाइष्ट वेर डिड दिस एतद एशा पुरुषा एत, एतद वाला के क्व अशयिष्ट मीन्स वेर डिड ही स्लीप वेर डिड ही डू दी शैन एंड क्व वा एत अभूत एंड वॉट डिड इट बिकम वॉट डिड ही बिकम इत्यादि प्रश्न दैट इज ए प्रश्न आस्क बाय अजात शत्रु टू बाला की एंड देन यदा सुप्त स्वप्न न कंचन पश्य अथ अस्मिन प्राण एव एक उत्तर व्याख्यान एंड देन दी एंसर इज ऑलो गिवन यदा सुप्त वेन हि गोस् टू दि सुषुप्ति अवस्था स्वप्न न कंचन पश्य सो वॉट इज दि सुषुप्ति स्वरूप ऑलो सुषुप्ति स्वरूप इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जागृत अवस्था दैट इज वेरी क्लियर बट इट इज ऑल्सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम स्वप्न देर फोर स्वप्न न कंचन पश्य इवन इन मांडुक्य उपनिषद सुषुप्ति इज डिस्क्राइब्ड एज वॉट यदा सुप्त स्वप्न न पश्य इन मांडुक्य उपनिषद ऑल्सो सिमिलर मंत्र इज देर सो देन अनदर मंत्र से न बाह्य प्रज्ञ न न अंत प्रज्ञ न बाह्य प्रज्ञ इत्यादि सो हियर ऑल्सो न स्वप्न न कंचन स्वप्न पश्य अथ अस्मिन प्राण एव एक एंड देन व्हाट इज द आंसर गिवन इज दैट दी प्राण 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 एव एक प्राणे एव एक प्राण इज सप्तमी देर नॉट प्राण बट प्राणे एव सो द पुरुष प्राणे एव एक ही मर्जिस इंटू प्राण नौ डज दि पुरुष मर्ज इंटू प्राण दिस पुरुष इज वन हू हेज गॉन् टू सुषुप्ति सो इट इज जीवा दिस पुरुष इज नॉट परमात्मा ही इज जीवा सो इफ जीवा हेज मर्ज इंटू प्राण प्राणे पुरुष अस्मिन प्राणे पुरुष एव एक पुरुषे एव पुरुषे एव एक अस्मिन प्राणे इन दिस प्राण दुरुष जीव बिकम्स वन मर्जिस सो हू इज दैट प्राण दैट प्राण के नॉट बी प्राण देवता दी जीवा डज नॉट मर्ज विथ प्राण मुख्य प्राण ऑल्सो प्राण देवता ऑल्सो सो वेर डज ही मर्ज ही मर्जिस इन टू ईश्वर परमात्मा सो प्राण इज परमात्मा पर शब्द सो दि वाक्य दिस वाक्य द फॉलोइंग वाक्य इन दि सेम बालाक्य अधिकर बालाक्य धर्म इन दि सूत्र बट इन दि सेम कौशित की ब्राह्मण वॉट वॉज सेड इज यो वे बालाक एषा पुरुषाण कर्ता ये वैतत्कर्म सवै वेजितव्य इत्यादि एंड देन 
that prana shabda which has gone by earlier and which comes up also that prana prane eva ekada bhavati esha purusha asmin prane eva ekada bhavati he becomes one and remains as one with prana that prana is not the karta is not prana and prana shabda is also not in the literal sense of prana you have to do lakshana into brahma because in prana there is no merging of jiva prana is actually one of the koshas of this jiva but in that he cannot what is superior inner to prana cannot merge in outer prana there is no such merging possible the merging is into subtler inner and superior that is not prana if at all the claim is it's prana devata prana devata is also not the topic of discussion there at all the tatpare vishaya is parmatma idi uttaram vyakhyana so vyakhyana is the answer as given uh, to the question which was asked as to where is this uh, jiva where does he go where does he sleep uh, and uh, what does he become he becomes where does he sleep in the where, what is the swarup of sleep also He, wherever he sleeps in the bahya desha he forgets all that jagrat prapancha he forgets all that swapna prapancha and then he merges into prana which is paramatma that is the uttara given so tabhyam tabhyam what tabhyam prashna uttara abhyam or prashna vyakhyana abhyam yasmin jeevasya swapa swapa agamane bhavatah into which this jiva purusha has what has the swapa meaning shushupti avastha and agamana meaning the merging into which and waking up from which takes place sa eva atra paramatma veditavya taya upadishtah so kaha yah karta purushanam karta ha veditavya उपदिष्टः स एव अत्र अस्मिन् प्राणे इति न यः प्राण उक्त स एव परमात्मा वेदितव्य वेदितव्यतया उपदिष्ट दैट इज द वन हु इज सेट टू बी नोन वेदितव्य मींस शुड बी नोन हु इज दैट वन शुड बी नो दैट शुड बी नोन वन हु इज पुरुषाणाम कर्ता एंड अनटू हुम दिस पुरुष जीवा गोज इनटू all the purushas go into shushupti avastha during shushupti avastha and from whom one or all jivas wake up after shushupti avastha that is the one who is taught as to be known veditavya and veditavya taya upadishtah taught apicha eke and apicha evam eke vajaseneyanah balakki ajata shatru samvade so vajaseneyana is those who follow the vajaseniya shaka vajaseniya shaka which vajaseniya shaka which is what brahmadharnika upanishad and there itself there is uh, kaushitaki brahmana where there is balaki and ajata shatru samvada which we saw in the last part yesterday ya esha vidyanamay purusha va uh, uh, mantra should not be broken but then uh, it is not something to be chanted during class necessarily so ya esha विज्ञानमय पुरुष वैश तदा भूत कुता एतदागत एतद आगात सो फ्रॉम व्हाट डिड ही कम सो आगमन आल्सो इज मेंशन एतद आगात एंड पुरुष व व एषः एषः पुरुष विज्ञानमय पुरुष हु इज दैट विज्ञानमय पुरुष अ क्लिंचर इनटू जीवा नॉट परमात्मा सो पुरुष हियर इज डेफिनेटली जीवा सो यहाँ विज्ञानमय पुरुष वाष तदूत 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 एंड कुत एक आगात फ्रॉम व्हाट डिड ही कम बैक इनटू वेकिंग स्टेट वेर डिड ही मर्ज दिस विज्ञानमय मींस विज्ञानमय एसोसिएशन शोज जीवत्व भाव ऑल दो जीवत्व भाव इज देर इन आनंदमय कोश ऑल्सो दैट जीवत्व भाव इज फोलडेड इन टू अ सीड फॉर्म so when one wakes up as soon as one wakes up without even a moment's loss one starts the tadatmya sambandha one starts with the tadatmya one wakes up with the tadatmya sambandha with vijnanamaya kosha with the buddhi as soon as one 
associates with the buddhi there is individuality otherwise in shushupti when one is with shuddha anandamaya kosha which is what nothing but avidya there there is no individuality there is no nanatva bhava therefore vijnanamaya is mentioned as jiva although in the shushupti avastha the jivatva bhava is there in the bijavastha but not known therefore during the jagrat and swapna avastha there is association with buddhi vijnanamaya kosha antakarana with tadatma sambandha and therefore that is the jiva that is discussed as jiva primarily that word stands for jiva so vijnanamaya purusha and then y eshu antarhude akashas tasmin chete iti prashnottara abhyam spashtam there is also another mantra there as to esha antarhudaya antarhudaya akashah that akash this mantra a similar mantra we have seen many times in this very patha so tasmin chete so where does he go this is also an uttara so where does this uh, jiva go he goes into the i mean if you want the physical location per se that physical location is location is hridaya but is it really physical it is not physical there is nadi way into which one goes into which is sukshma so therefore this akasha is mentioned and the akasha we have seen is the hridaya akasha is nothing but the paramatma whose understanding takes place in the buddhi which is in the hridaya akasha and therefore by lakshana it is basically paramatma alone that hridaya akasha is nothing but paramatma if at all there is a claim as to hridaya akasha is where jiva rests okay that is also fine but then finally this jiva is resting into that and having merged into that prana which is a word used to mean paramatma this hridaya akasha also is tasmin chete is tasmin paramatmani chete really but then literally if you look at it then where does he go he goes into this hridaya akasha he does not have sanchara anywhere else he remains in the hridaya akasha during the shushupti avastha iti prashnottara abhyam spashtam vijnanamayatirtam paramatmanam amananti so ek amananti that is the uh, sutra anvaya meaning sutra ek che evam ek what ek amananti that is how they chant it and through that we know that in looking at the prashna and the uttara through the prashna and uttara or due to prashna and uttara it is clearly known as to what vijnanamaya atirikta jiva atirikta is this paramatma not your mukhya prana also into which there is merging and from which there is utpatti or uh, you know uh, waking up atah etat kaushitaki vakyam jagat kartari brahmani samanvitam iti siddham therefore samanvaya of all vedanta vakyas including this vakya to which you object as not being brahma para it is also brahma para and therefore brahmani samanvaya siddhi is established purvam brahmopakram samarthyat brahma paratvam uktam so just uh, uh, going back a bit uh, to yesterday's or earlier part ha Yeah, there was this um, there was a sangati kanwara prakti se jo ki chana sakte ne ha so i just wanted to mention this he, this sangati here to jagat vachitva purvam ekavakyasya satshabda balat there i had mentioned that satshabda uh, is ekas ekavakyasya but if you look at the vakya there you don't find the satshabda so what is that ekavakyasya satshabda that is asatshabda itself the asatshabda is in the vakya where the satshabda is included so it should be read in uh, understood in that manner so that is ekavakyasya but then this uh, uh, brahmate bravani ityadi vakya which was quoted there pranadi shabda etc were there they should they cannot be reinterpreted because there is no such shabda is a claim by the purva pakshi so here ek vakyastha sat shabda if you don't find it that asat shabda itself has sat shabda it is a nanj with the sat shabda included so that sat shabda is also to be seen in what meaning can it be interpreted mean the in what meaning can the nanj be interpreted that has to be seen with the bala of the sat shabda there and also of course other prakarna ityadi also are there 
Chruti, Linga, uh, all, the, all those are there definitely for Mimamsa. But Satshabda Pratyaksha is also there. So you have to be looking into that as well. Uh, that was the uh, agreement given by the Puro Pakshi to the earlier analysis. Anyway, moving on. So the uh, Balakya Dikaranam is over. Purvam Brahma Upakrama Samakhyat. Because of Brahma being in the Upakrama as to what? Brahmati Bravani said Balaki to Ajata Shatru. Now, due to that what happened? Due to such a statement being in the section as the opening statement, a Pratijnya given. So, in Upakrama it was there. So, Brahma Upakrama Samarthyat. Brahma Shabda being there in the Upakrama. That Brahma Shabda is in the Swartha. Meaning, meaning it meant Brahma itself, Parabrahma. Therefore, Brahma Paratva Muktam. Brahma Paratam Kasya, the entire section, all the Vakyas there are Brahma Parariyali. Tarihi Tadva Deva Maitreyi Brahmanasya Navare Patyukkamai Tyadi Jiva Upakrama Samarthyat Jiva Paratva Mastuiti Drishtanta Sangatyai Damaha. So, therefore, using a similar Drishtanta. Drishtanta Sangati giving a similar example, Puru Pakshi says, look at another section. What is that section? That section is the Maitri Brahmana, where there you see Tadva Deva Maitri Brahmanasya. This Maitri Brahmana should be a single word, there should be no split there, it's a samasa. So the Maitri Brahmanasya Nava Are Patyukkamaya. Just give me one moment, please. So there, uh, Nava, Nava is why, Nava is Are Patyukkamaya. So Pati is Priya. Pati is Priya to the Patni. For what purpose? For whose sake? It is not for the sake of the Pati. Not for the sake of the husband that the husband is dear to the wife. And vice versa also true. The Wife is not dear to the husband for the sake of the wife. It is for one's own sake. So that is there is a long, uh, you know, uh, long set of similar mantras as to which say that nobody or nothing is dear for its own sake in swartha. Meaning swartha, uh, there is swartha, but I am saying that in the swa artha, meaning of the artha, due to the artha, for the sake of the artha, there is no Dearness, the dearness towards anything or any one is for one's own sake. Atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam bhavati. It ends by that statement as to Atmanastu kamaya patihi priyam bhavati or priyam bhavati. That's samanya napunsakam. But for whose sake is anything dear that is for one's own sake really? Atmanastu Kamaya. Atma is reflexive there and that reflexive Atma ends into Pratyagatma which is Parabrahma. Which is Ananda Swarupa. So the Ananda which is invoked in any Vishaya Bhoga or any dearness towards anything or anyone there the ananda which is invoked or which is anubhuta in any jiva, that is for one's own sake because that ananda is one's own ananda. And for that ananda is any one or anything dear and any kriya is also due to that. Any pravrutti or nivrutti or dana or any seva, also is for one's own ananda. So that is the context of that section in the Maitri Brahmana. So there, Navare Patyukkama Ityadi Jeeva Upakrama Samarchyat. Jeeva Paratto Mastu Iti Drishtanta Sangatya Idamaha. There at least Puro Pakshi says that it is not Brahma Para Vakya. I have already explained how it is Brahma Para because ananda is Brahma. Anandu Brahmeti Vyajanath. 
सो आनंद इज ब्रह्म एंड आनंद इज वॉट इज सॉट आफ्टर इन ईच एवरी क्रिया एंड इन एनी डिअरनेस टुवर्ड्स दी अदर दॅट मेक्स वन हॅपी द हजबंड मेक्स दी वाईफ हॅपी द वाईफ मेक्स दी हजबंड हॅपी द सन मेक्स दी मदर हॅपी द मदर मेक्स दी सन ऑर दी चाईल्ड हॅपी सन ऑर डॉटर एंड सो ऑन देर इज अ रेफरेन टेकिंग सॅम्पलिंग ऑफ मेनी रिलेशन्स अँड थिंग्स एंड देन इट एंड्स बाय सेईंग दॅट न तू सर्वस्य कामाय सर्व प्रियम भवती आत्मनस्तु कामाय सर्व प्रियम भवती एव्हरीथिंग इज डिअर एव्हरीथिंग अँड एव्हरी वन सर्व कॅन इन्क्लूड एव्हरी वन ऑल्सो सो एव्हरीथिंग अँड एव्हरी वन इज डिअर नॉट फॉर एव्हरीथिंग्स ऑर एव्हरी वन सेक बट ओनली फॉर दी सेक ऑफ वन सेल्फ नाव हू इज दॅट वन सेल्फ द पूर्व पक्षी सेज दॅट देअर जीव उपक्रमा इज देअर देअर फोर ड्यू टू जीव उपक्रमा वॉट हॅज बीन सेट आत्मा वारे द्रष्टव्य श्रोतव्यो मंतव्य दॅट इज दी जीव उपक्रमा आत्मा इज जीव आत्मा सो जीव उपक्रमा इज देअर देअर फोर जीव परत्व असतो तस वाक्य एंटायर सेक्शन ऑल्सो देअर वाक्य देअर लेट इट बी कमिटेड टू रिवील जीव अँड ॲज सून ॲज सिद्धांती इफ एट ऑल ही वेअर टू अग्री दॅट येस इट इज जीव पर वाक्य दि पूर पक्षी विल से युअर समन्वय हॅज फॉलन अपार्ट इति दृष्टांत संगत्य इदम वाक्यान्वय अधिकरण सो दि वाक्य अन्वय अधिकरण हाऊ हाऊ डज दिस वाक्य अन्वय टेक्स प्ले टेक प्लेस दॅट इज शोन अँड थ्रू दॅट ब्रह्मपरत्वम इज एस्टॅब्लिश बाय दि सिद्धांती वेदांती वाक्यान्वयात वाक्यान्वयात सो ड्यू टू वाक्य अन्वय वॉट ड्यू टू वाक्य अन्वय यु विल सी दॅट इट इज नॉट जीव पर वाक्य बट इट इज ब्रह्मपर सो दे अ सिंगल हेतू शब्द इज गिवन ॲज अ सूत्र सो हिअर फलम पूर्ववत मीनिंग वॉट पूर्वपक्षी सेज देर इज समन्वय असिद्धी सिद्धांती सेज देर समन्वय सिद्धी इन ब्रह्म बृहदारणके श्रूयते आत्मा वा अरे द्रष्टव्य श्रोतव्यो मंतव्य आत्मा वै इंडीड अरे अरे मैत्री ही सेज ओ ओ मैत्री आत्मा शुड बी सीन सीन मीन्स वॉट देर शुड बी साक्षात्कार ऑफ आत्मा आत्मसाक्षात्कार बेसिकली वॉट आत्मसाक्षात्कार इज वॉट इट दॅट इज वॉट वी सेज अपरोक्ष ज्ञान सो दिस आत्मदर्शन इज आत्म अपरोक्ष ज्ञान दॅट शुड टेक प्लेस दॅट शुड बी सॉट कर्तव्यत्वेन Why? Because of being born as a manushya. Because of being born as a manushya, this is an opportunity for the jiva to get mukti by knowing one's own swarupa. So therefore, drashtavya and how shrotavya, mantavya, nididhyasitavya. <coughs> so here, this shrotavya, mantavya, What is the artha of this tavya tavya pratyaya? So tavya artha, can, tavya is generally what vidhi. But then there is a discussion, we have seen this in the, um, in the um, Pratna Prabha and also Tika Purnanandi on, uh, on um, Adhyasa Bhashya. So that time we saw that some consider it as a vidhi. and some say that in jnana there can be no vidhi therefore it has to be reinterpreted this tavya should be understood as yogya artha so tavya also as yogya artha just like yat uh, the ya pratya nyat yat kyat these pratyas also have uh, yogya artha so they like the kritya ha kritya have yogya artha also not only vidhya artha vidhilinga artha is not the only artha so there is a discussion there as to tavya tavya naam uh, atra kim artha so ko artha atra so there the artha is what the artha can be yogya artha also vidhya artha that's an aside ityadi so there is a mantra like that as to shrotavya mantavya nididhyasana means shravana manara nididhyasana is the means to atma darshana so tatra kim jeevah drashtavyatvaadi roopena upadishyate so who is this atma who is drashtavya atma vare drashtavya atma drashtavya arin samanadikaranim atma is 
stated to be had darshana of so atma's darshana should be had atma is predicated as drashtavya so if atma is predicated as darshavya the drashtavya is in samanadikaran whether yogyartha bhavatu vidyartha va bhavatu whether it is vidyartha or yogyartha is fit to be known or should be known as a vidhi no one should know one should actually know atma having been born as a human being this is your kartavya dharma so vidhi is what it is a prescription so either way however you take it tatra kim jeevah drashtavyatvaadi roopena upadishyate atma meaning is a jeevah so jeevatma drashtavyatvaadi roopena upadishyate that this jeevatma is drashtavya and how jeevah shrotavya jeevah mantavya jeevah nidhyasitavya all in samana adikarane is that jeevatma being taught there kim va paramatma iti samshe or whether paramatma is being taught whether that atma shabda is jeeva being rudha in jeeva or is it paramatma are you going to hijack this meaning also as the puro pakshi siddhantastu paramatma evatr jeeva iti puro paksha jeeva is rudha artha says the uh, the atma word is rudha in jeeva therefore it is jeeva says the पूर्व पक्षी सिद्धांत अस्तु परमात्मा एव अत्र द्रष्टव्यतया उपदिष्टा आत्मा दिस आत्मा हु इज द्रष्टव्यतया उपदिष्टा दैट इज परमात्मा अलोन व्हाई सो कुतः वाक्यान्वय बिकॉज़ द वाक्यान्वय इज लाइक दैट यू एनालाइज एंड लुक एट द वाक्य कंप्लीट सेक्शन यू विल सी अन्वय वर्क्स ओनली इन परमात्मा उपक्रमादि पर्यालोचनया वाक्यस्य ब्रह्मणी एव अन्वयाद इत्यर्थ मीनिंग द तात्पर्य लिंगाज विल लीड यू only to this brahma paramatma para brahma as the meaning of atma not jiva further what if you look at it jiva jiva is with the sharira he is not ashariri there is no ashariri jiva ashariri jivatma is same as paramatma pratyagatma therefore paramatma who is who cannot be seen so who should be seen means who should be understood so if if you claim that jiva who is अदृष्टा शुड बी द्रष्टव्य देन दैट आत्म दर्शन इज आत्म ज्ञान सो फार दि पूर्व पक्षी वुड से यस देन दि सिद्धांति वुड क्वेश्चन दिस जीवात्मा हु इज द्रष्टव्य हु शुड बी नोन व्हाई वुड यू टेक दि दर्शन एज ज्ञान देर बिकॉज दर्शन इज पॉसिबल लिटरली ऑफ जीवात्मा हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद दि शरीर सो शरीर all the shariri cannot be known that atma cannot be seen literally still with the sharira he can be known so if with the sharira this jeevatma is who can be known and sharira is pratyaksha then there is no further jnana needed that shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya is not needed because this jeevatma will always be bound to the sharira with the sharira traya if he is bound and one sharira can be seen pratyakshataya stula sharira and even if the individual himself does not know his sukshma sharira pratyakshataya if at all that is the argument still the stula sharira is pratyaksha and stula stula sharira being pratyaksha where there is tadatma sambandha of this jeeva this atma and therefore his jeevatma then what else is to know there if you say that jeeva should be known as separate from the sharira that is already known why is it known because you are a karma kandi astika who has already followed the karma and upasana and in that upasana and karma why are you doing it because you are doing it so that you will get the phala on the drop of the body when the body is burnt in antyeshti that sharira which is pratyaksha to you which is part of you jiva who is associated there and and that sharira in antyashti which is burnt which is burnt in antyashti that sharira will not go with you therefore you are separate from the sharira is already known to you so what is there to know there this is the argument that the siddhanti can make siddhanti says shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya this jeeva who is associated with the sharira if that is the teaching that is already known for that this vakya is not pramana this upanishad or any upanishad or any veda is not pramana in non vishaya 
in an unknown vishaya which cannot be known by other pramanas, there alone this shastra is vishaya and therefore this atma is not jiva atma, it is paramatma. So atma is paramatma para, para brahma para, not jiva atma para. This is the meaning that you will land in when you do an unbiased analysis of Shadlinga with Upakramadi Paryalochana and Taya Paryalochana Taya Vakyasya Brahmani Eva Anviyad Ichyartha. Now the Puro Vakshi says, what was my question? My question was in the Navare Patyukabai Ityadi. So you look at that and tell me. So he says, Nanu <coughs> Pati Jayadi Bhogya Jatena Lingena Jeeva Upakrama Pratiyate. <laughs> so, Puro Pakshi says, I have already given you an opening statement. Navare Patyukama, not opening statement, but then opening answer also. In the set of reference, there is this mantra which is Navare Patyukama. Yeah. You are focusing on Atma Vare Drashtavya Shrotavya Mantavya, you Siddhanti. But look at this also, Navare Patyukamaya. This Pati is not for Paramatma. Paramatma is not Purusha or Stri who does not have a Linga per se. Although Ishwara in Vyakrana, in Par- you will say Paramatma, Saha Ityadi, Satavute. Still, Paramatma is beyond Linga. Beyond Linga means beyond gender. So that Parabrahma is beyond gender. There is no, uh, uh, there is none of the genders for the there is neither uh, uh, Pullinga, Strilinga or Napunsaka Linga. These are all uh, the Shabda Lingas, not the Shabdartha, Pada Lingas, but not the Padartha Lingas. Padartha does not have a Linga there. Atma also. Atma is Pullinga by Vyakrana. But it has nothing to do with the Atma Padartha Linga. Pada has a Linga all right. Padartha does not have a Linga there. When you say Purushaha Stri, there the Pada has a Linga, Padartha also has a Linga. Because Padartha is Sharir, Sharir, what one with Sharira, Shariri or Sharira. Therefore, there is a, uh, Padartha also has a Linga, has a gender. But in Atma and Brahma, these kind of Shabdas, Paramatma, there is no Padartha Linga. There is no gender. But Patyuhu Kamaya, when you say, Pati has a gender definitely, husband has a gender, it is definitely male. Now this, Pati who has a male gender, a masculine gender, how do you take that word as meaning Paramatma, meaning Patyu Kamaya Nabhavati and then Atma word, there Atma has to be Jiva because that Atma is taught in this manner who, whose husband is not dear for the sake of the husband. But it is the sake of, for the sake of the Atma, meaning what? For the sake of the wife. So that wife who has a gender cannot be Paramatma. So this is the perspective of the Puro Pakshi. You have to keep it in mind as to how the Puro Pakshi has landed there onto uh, the Jiva as the meaning. Because he says, Navare Patyukkama Itya. These relations are not possible for Paramatma. They are for the Jivatma alone. They are with for someone who has associated with a gender ityadi. Therefore, uh, the nanu patu, pati jayadi bhogya jatena. All this bhogya which has been discussed there as vishaya which is bhogya or vishaya can be sentient also. Vishaya meaning the karma or the object. This subject objectifies not only insentient but also sentient. Uja Swami used to mention sometimes, you know, I remember he had mentioned as to, you know, people have objection to being objectified. So they say, why do you, you know, they say, why do you make me an object of your, whatever, your, be it your desire, the way you want me to be. Why do you want me to be the way you want, your wants are, your desires are there. So based on your desires, I should change. And this happens, we, we know it happens in many a relation. So I should change based on the subject's desires. So I am an object. I don't like being objectified. This is the, uh, this is a, this is a norm. This is a general, uh, you know, general emotion there. As to, I should change for your desire. And that also sets right as to the, this person who is being objectified is desired 
by the subject because the subject's desire is so. It has not. It has nothing to do with the object at all. Who is being objectified? So that vishaya has nothing to do with it. It is all molded in the desire of the subject. The subject objectifies the desire and wants it to be objectified only in this manner so that his or her desire is met. And this is an objection, emotion of the objectified person also. How much and why should I change for the other? So all dearness is based on one's own desires, one's own desires which are landing this jiva into one's own swarupa of ananda when that desire is met. Meaning the desire no longer is there, the desire itself is resolved and then the ananda swarupa which is one's own swarupa, paramatma swarupa that is anubhuta. Therefore, nanu pati jaya di bhogya jate na linge na. Now that is Siddhanta what I was mentioning but giving the laukika example of being objectified also. So this pati is also bhogya. Jaya is also bhogya and there are other bhogyas also. So Adi Padena, whatever you take, that is also bhogya. So Pati is bhogya for the Patni. Jaya is Patni who is bhogya for the Pati. And Adi Padena, Putra Mata, Pita Ityadi and all these relations which are discussed there which are all Upalakshana for every possible relation even Pashu also. With a, a Pashu is desirable. So whether you have a pet or you have cattle and then you have you milk the cow you feed the cow you do go seva all these are also included everything is included there everything is included in a set of upalakshana reference given there all those are what basically bhogya for the jiva and jata is a group so pati jaya di bhogya jate na linge na that becomes a linga to know that Upakrama has nothing to do with Paramatma says the Purva Pakshi. Linga shows that the Upakrama is Jiva. So Jiva Upakrama Pratiyate. There is a Pratiti of Jiva Upakrama. There is a, an understanding of Jiva Upakrama. Not Paramatma or Parabrahma Upakrama. So where do you get this claim? Where is this claim from as to Upakrama the Pariyalochana? I am doing that. Are you saying that I have not done that? I will show you Jiva Upakrama is seen. In Upakrama, when you see, you see Jiva Upakrama, not to Paramatma or Parabrahma Upakrama. So, Katham Ityashankya, so Katham, how is it that there is Jiva Upakrama and you land on Parabrahma Upakrama? There, the Siddhanti says, Pratidya Siddher Linga Mashmaratya, Pratidya Siddher Linga Mashmaratya. So, Ashmaratya Acharya Manyate. What the Pratidya Siddhi. Pratidya Siddhe, because this Pratidya Siddhi has to take place in this. Pratidya has been done and that Pratidya has to be explained in the entire section and the Upasamhara also should be landing into the same Pratidya. Pratidya Siddhi should take place. Otherwise, Shruti cannot open with a statement and say, talk about all things and the by Upasamhara you have not landed on establishing the Pratidya at all. So somebody makes an opening statement and talks about everything and anything and everything but does not talk about the Upakrama Vishaya at all. That presentation even in the Loka is not fruitful. Na phalati. Shruti cannot have the such a thing. You cannot say that Shruti, uh, Shruti Vakya Tatparyana Phalati. You cannot say there, there is no Tatparyam na Phalati. You cannot say there is no Tatparya at all. There is a Tatparya. That Tatparya should be concluding in the Upakrama itself. Upakrama Siddhi should take place. And therefore what? What was the Pratidya done if you go back? That is the Upakrama in the section. Jiva Brahman or he Karya Karana or Bheda Bheda Varte Te. Now this Ashmaratya is not a Vedantin. The Parama Siddhanta will come up. But what has been done? Look at the beauty of uh, Vedanta. Vedanta does not go and start answering all questions of every Tom, Dick and Harry. What has been answered by other darshanas and we agree with this, we will show those darshanas. We will show whatever has gone in the Sampradaya across darshanas. If they have dealt with some part which has been fruitful, meaning has been conclusive, then we don't need to reinvent the wheel and we don't need to take up each and every question lying as such 
and answer them. What has been answered is established and we move on. We reuse that. In programming, <laughs> overloading. So you say that you reuse what is already there and then you extend it as much as you need. So you need to give only additional answers which have not been answered. You don't need to answer all questions which have been answered. So whether it is answered in Karmakanda by Jaimini Maharshi, that has been used earlier in the Jaimini Acharya Manyate. So Jaimini Acharya says something. Okay, Ashwa, Ashmaratya, Ashmaratya is a follows Bheda Bheda. Bheda Bheda means what they say that there is a Vastuta, there is Bheda between Jiva and Paramatma. But there is also Aikya. Abheda is also there. How so? So they say in Ajnana Vastha there is Bheda and in Jnana Vastha there is Abheda. And this Abheda has to be really attained. So that is not Paramasiddhanta. Paramasiddhanta is what? Advaita Siddhanta is Paramasiddhanta. There is no becoming something else. There is no becoming one with Brahma if you are really different. What is really different will remain really different. It can never become one with something else. Swarupaha does not change. Swabhavastu pravartate. As Bhagavan Krishna says, Swabhavastu pravartate. And that Swabhava, if it is Swarupa, that Swarupa will continue. There can be an appearance of Bheda, but there can be no real Bheda. Ghataha pato na bhavati, pataha ghata na bhavati. There is no possibility, na sambhavati, na shakyate. If at all, the, meaning, uh, if at all there is real bheda, between pata and ghata there is real bheda. In vastavika bheda, in vyavahara. In vyavahara you never see the pot becoming a cloth and cloth becoming a pot and never does one accept that it can be, become so. Nobody does. No darshanika, no adarshanika, no charvaka ex, expects it to happen. Then where can this aikya be possible between two apparent different things? Raju Sarpa. Raju Sarpa or Shukti Rajata. These are the examples. So Shukti if it is really Shukti and Rajata if it is really Rajata then they can never become one. Then they will be like Ghata Pata. But Shukti which appears as Shuktika which appears as Rajata Nekar which shell which appears like silver that can become, that silver can become shell because there is no real becoming, because there was no real difference. Sarpa can become Raju only when Sarpa was never there. There was a Bhranti of Sarpa that Bhranta Sarpa, no not Bhranta Sarpa, Bhranti Vishaya Sarpa, Bhrantasya Bhranti Vishaya Sarpa can become Raju as though in Jnana Vastha. But Ashmaratya Acharya says that Pratidya Siddhi, our focus is in Pratidya Siddhi, not in Ashmaratya saying that this is the conclusion. We use what Ashmaratya Acharya has said that there is Linga. What is the Linga? Pratidya Siddhi. Hey. Pratidya Siddhi shows that there is a Linga there. Jiva, so Pratidya Siddhi is Panchami Ekavachana Heto Panchami Lingam Ashmaratya Lingam Manyate. He considers there is a Linga there. Pratidya Siddhi should take place and that becomes the Hetu. Now, why did Pura Pakshi say that we saw uh, multiple things there? So, Navare uh, Patyu Kamaya, I explained one way. Another thing also in a shortcut method, also another way can be seen as to Paramatmanaha Bhuktritto Abhavat. Therefore, what this Kama is for Bhoga and what has been talked about is Bhogya Padartha. So, this Bhogya Pati, Patni, Ityadi and Bhogya Padarthas, Ityadi Bhogya Padarthas which are discussed. Paramatma does not have Bhoga. Therefore, how do you say that Atmanas to Kamaya, Atmanas to Bhoga Ityartha? Atma will become Bhogi there, Bhokta there. So, Bhoktrutva is there in Atma and that Atma having Bhoktrutva is not possible in Paramatma. It is possible only in Jivatma. So this is the perspective of the Puro Pakshi. Now, Pratidya Siddhi, but what is the Pratidya made? That has to be looked into, says Ashmaratya Acharya. Jiva Brahmanor hi karya karanayor bheda bhedo vartete. 
So there is bheda between karya and karana. There is abheda also between karya and karana. So what example we give is as to there is difference between mrit and ghata. There is also non-difference between mrit and ghata. Vedanti says that there is no real difference. There is only nama rupa bheda. Nama rupa is mithya. Therefore, there is no sad bheda between mrit and ghata, between clay and pot, between karana and karyas. But the Ashwarathya Acharya says, can you use this clay for uh, bringing water, fetching water? No, you have to use pot. Therefore, there is by utility, by the drishti of utility, there is bheda. And when you say that, when you tap on it and when you look at it, what is the weight of this uh, pot? You know, uh, what does it, what is the texture of the pot? How does it, you know, uh, sparsha, how does this sparsha feel? How does it sound? How does it smell? How does it uh, appear in color, in form? And how does it taste also? If you, if somebody were to see, then it is all nothing but clay. Therefore, there is Abheda also. Similarly, between Jeeva and Brahma, from the purpose of the samsara, bhogya, samsara which is bhogya for a samsari, there there is real Abheda between Jeeva and Brahma. And in Mukti Avastha, there is Abheda between Jeeva and Brahma. Therefore, there is Bheda also, Abheda also. Just like in Raju and Sarpa also, there is Bheda also, Abheda also. Where is the Bheda? For a person who has fear, the fear is real. Because the Sarpa is real. And the Sarpa is real. And for you, Raju is real. In between that real Sarpa and real Raju. The real Sarpa as Anubhuta. As experienced by the person who is seeing Sarpa, who is scared and the Raju that you who is not scared, you are looking at between those two, Sarpa and Raju, there is a real difference. Bheda, says the Ashmaratyachara, who is also Pura Paksha to Vedanta, but then he is being used, his view is being used to refute the Pura Pakshi saying that not all refutation is by Siddhanti alone, Vedanti alone. It has already been dealt with. So you look at all those and then come up with this Pura Paksha. We'll answer if there is more. Because it has already been dealt with. This is well known. So therefore, Ashmaratya Acharya is also quoted with respect as to he considers this Pratijna Siddhi possible only when when this analysis is done into Bheda Bheda. He says Bheda Bheda is there but there is Jiva Brahma Abheda also as per Ashmaratya. Even if it is in Muktiya Vasa, let there be. Let that be the Tatpare Vishya. Atyanta Bheda Eka Vidyana Sarva Vidyana Pratidnya Viroda Prasangat. Now this only one part is being focused upon. If at all there is Bheda between Jiva and Brahma and that Bheda is Atyanta Bheda. There is no Atyanta Bheda. Why? Because Atyanta Bheda, if it is there, even as per Ashmaratya Acharya, he will say there Atyanta Bheda, if it is there like Ghata Pata, then there cannot be Aikya, there cannot be Abheda. So Atyanta Bheda is not there. Some kind of Bheda is there by utility, etc. Not in each and every aspect. And then in some aspect, there is Aikya. And that Aikya has to be really achieved by Sadhana, such as Shravana Manana Nididhyasana. Shravana and Manana is not sufficient. Nididhyasana has to be done, although Jnana has taken place, this Anubhava has not taken place. What is that Anubhava? That I have become Brahma. This kind of a claim is made by Ashmaratya Acharya and basically Bheda Bheda followers who are also Vedantins, but they are what? That is not Parama Siddhanta, that is, uh, that is ek, uh, this, uh, what is called as uh, Ekadarshi. They are Ekadarshi, na? They agree with some part and some part they don't agree with, meaning they take the part and then interpret as real also. They say that this Bheda is also real, Abheda is also real. So, Atyanta Bheda Sati, if at all there is Atyanta Bheda, what will happen? Eka Vidyana, Sarva Vidyana, Pratijna Viroda Prasangat. There will be Pratijna which has been done. Eka Vidyana leads to Sarva Vidyana. That is the Pratijna there. Just like in Chandogya Shastodhya, there is a Pratijna. Similarly, there is a pratidnya here and that pratidnya will fall apart. And pratidnya siddhi has to take place, otherwise Shruti will have 
not done its job and shruti does its job as per all darshanas all astika darshanas therefore sarva vijnana pratijna viroda prasanga to avoid this viroda to pratijna you have to accept pratijna siddhi has taken place and what is the pratijna eka vijnana na sarva vijnana sarva vijnana sambhava sarva vijnanam bhavati eka vijnana na sarva vijnanam bhavati that is the pratijna done and therefore tatha cha tat pratijna siddhe he since such a pratijna has been successfully achieved by the section in the brahmadharnik upanishad there just like in chandogya or elsewhere therefore imam abheda amsham adaya you have to take that there is no atyanta bheda although that bheda is there we'll say okay bheda is there that bheda is mithya bheda whether ashmaratya acharya agrees or not parama siddhanta is that the bheda is mithya and there is an amsha they are they, they they say there is a bheda amsha also abheda amsha also so we say okay let's focus on the abheda amsha so abheda amsha adaya as to there is abheda also you take that amsha into picture even in ashmaratya's perspective and jeeva upakramanam lingam itya ashmaratya acharya manyate therefore what abheda amsha adaya jeeva upakramanam lingam this jeeva upakrama is in linga but it is what abheda if you look at abheda it is paramatma alone this is the so it can be seen as purva paksha as to what jeeva upakrama is there siddhanti says abheda amsha you look at abheda amsha and therefore what there is there is uh, what there is also paramatma abheda so both ways it is possible this sutra can be seen in both ways as to what jeev upakrama is there but it is also what abheda amsham adaya jeev upakrama is possible meaning what parmatma upakrama alone lingam iti ashmaratya acharya manyate samadhana antarama samadhana antaram we look at the another samadhana uh, just give me a moment and then yeah we look at the uh, another uh, samadhana to this objection as to jeev upakrama therefore tatpare is is not into brahma and samanvaya siddhi is there this is a purva paksha so one way it has been answered another way the answer will be given we'll look at that in the next part ha amna yantik samsiddham aadi madhyant varjitam anand ghanam apurnam atma jyoti rupasmahe nistyam tatsat dhanyavada namaste dhanyavada